Well, good morning, America. It's old Jim Bob over here. I'm going to do you some commentary again today. I appreciate you tuning in and take a look at me. So today I'm going to talk about evolution. That's right, evolution. Yeah, I've been studying on it. I went on the internet. I looked it up. I mean, I've been to church. I know what the church thinks about it. They, they done told me what their idea on it was. And, but I went on the internet and, and read a little bit about uh, evolution on the Christian side and on the scientific side, the atheism side. And, uh, and then so uh, what the atheists want to tell you is, uh, is it uh, evolution is a uh, we've been around four and a half million years is how long earth has been here that's what they said and uh that uh life is a bunch of revolving uh, hematodes and electrodes and stuff like that and uh they keep multiplying and, and so on and so on and so forth and then there's a mutation comes along in the, that process of uh, evolution, they call it. And uh, and so with the mutations, some of them is a good mutation and some of them is not, not so good mutation. And uh, the good mutations, they keep on a, a mutating. Well, you know what that means. And uh, so, uh, and then that, that's how they evolve into the fishes. And then uh, um, some of them said that uh, the fishes crawled out of the water and got up on the land. And uh, then they started to evolve it on some more million years and then they got to walk in. What, uh, got, uh, did they walk or did they climb in the trees? You know, it makes sense to me. It seemed like if they was going to evolve, they would have uh, not went up in the trees. They would have walked first on the land, but anyhow, they say that uh, the monkey is the closest thing to rape or whatever to the human, uh, uh, you and me. And uh, that's why I was so studying on that. It don't make no sense to me that uh, they'd mutate right out of the water and up into a tree. Seemed to me like they'd stay on the land a bit. That's just all I'm thinking about it. Anyway. So, uh, so um, it's a, they said it was evolving. Uh, I looked at the Bill Nye and, and uh, and I went, uh, uh, How Stuff Works has got a lot of information on uh, evolution. That's a good place to go. Uh, How Stuff Works, you can find out a lot of stuff on there uh, about everything. But anyhow, that's some places I went. And uh, so uh, they said he, it was uh, you were evolving from the fishes. And they didn't give me no actually what was what to next because I, I don't think they know. But anyhow, something like this, uh, come out of the water and crawled up on the land, got up in the tree and you come back down on the tree and uh, you was bent over and uh, then you started getting unbent, unbent and straightened on up until you was walking and then they got you right back down sitting on a computer like I'm doing. So anyhow, that's kind of how the evolution's working according to the scientists. Well, I got some questions about that, and uh, this is a, a couple of them. I was wondering if we evolved from the fish. Let's just go on back, you know, to the beginning, kind of a beginning time. If we evolved it from the fish, and I likes to eat fish, does that mean every time I catch a fish and eat it, I'm eating one of my distant relatives. I just uh, studied about that. I wondered if somebody out there had an answer to it and you could email me over on my email and let me know. And then uh, if uh, we evolved from a monkey or an ape or you know whatever you have you want to believe about it, if we come evolving up from the monkeys and the apes and there's still monkeys and the apes around well, what's the matter with them that are still out there, them monkeys and apes? Are they not smart enough to evolve on over up to us? That don't make no sense to me. It seemed to me like that uh, the the monkeys would disappear. You see? You see what I'm saying? Uh, they, them, they say the monkeys is pretty smart and stuff, yeah, but, but they ain't smart enough to evolve into a human. But they did evolve into a human. See, this just don't make no sense to me. 
but I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. So there's some questions I got. I, I'd like you to send me some answers to it on the email. And uh, now I know the, the Christians is now I'm a Christian, but I'm a confused Christian. I've always been a confused Christian all my life. I, the Christian, I, I love Jesus, but it's confusing to me sometimes. And that's something I ought to say in a commentary that I have learned in my many years here on earth. And you need to understand this. There ain't answers to everything in the world. There never was, and there never will be. So you're just going to have to conclude on some of the stuff yourself. But that's what you got to do. So anyways, email me on over there some answers about your, your ideas on the evolutions. And, um, and think about it. You know... And uh, and let's figure this thing out, and maybe I can come back and do a follow-up on it, and uh, let you know what I found out. So I'm on the Twitters, I'm on the Facebook, I'm on uh, uh, Google Plus, and I'm gonna get on the LinkedIn today. So um, you'll be able to find me out there, uh, or you can just look up the Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. I am on the internet, and uh, I'm out there. So, so I'm going to hear from you, and uh, we're going to talk some more about evolution. All right, then. Uh, Jim's out.